Speaker Maigat, Kankorla, the Minister has been caught. And Minister, you tried to cover up these, this when the allegations were put to you in 2017. Again last year, you tried to cover this up when the media made inquiries with specific detail in relation to all of this in terms of the political donation. And you claimed at the time that you reviewed this issue and there was nothing to see here, that everything was in order. And now you've concocted a story that doesn't stack up. And the charge is that during the 2016 general election campaign, you received a political donation from a friend of yours, Michael Stone, the CEO of the Designer Group, the President of the Construction Industry Federation at the time, who was later appointed by Fine Gael to the powerful Land Development Agency outside of the normal process. And you failed to disclose this donation, which was required on you under law. And this donation that was accepted by you was above the legal limit. Now, over the past five years, you've dodged this issue and you've concocted stories to make it go away. You said the individuals did the work for you over a number of nights so that the work was carried out outside normal working hours. We now know that that is not true. We now know that the work was carried out in broad daylight, in the middle of the working day, by men in hard hats with a company van marked Designer Group. You claim that this is a donation to the party rather than yourself. That's laughable. And you should know this because you're the minister that oversees this legislation. The rules are clear. Let me quote from you, to, to you. Where expenses are incurred on a candidate's behalf by an individual or body other than a political party, and the expenses are borne by that individual or body, the donation may be regarded as a donation to the candidate, a donation to Pascal Donoghue, not to Dublin Central Fine Gael. It is crystal clear, and you should stop trying to dodge that issue. You tried to reverse engineer the value of the political donation to make sure it was below uh, the allowable amount. You say the donation was worth €1,100. Euro. But again, the problem for you is the rules are crystal clear. It says, and I quote, donations in kind are to be valued at the usual commercial price charge for the purchase, use or acquisition of the property or goods or the supply of the service donated. Not how much Michael Stone paid the individuals to do the work, but the open commercial value on the open market. So how does your claim of €1,100 Euros square with somebody who was contesting the same election in the same constituency, Mary Fitzpatrick, who had to pay nearly €5,000 to get her posters put up and taken down, and many of your colleagues sitting behind you paying two and a half to just get them put up? That's the reality. This is the amount of the donation that you failed to disclose, a donation that was unlawful and that you're still trying to cover up. Again, in an attempt to make the numbers add up, you claim that these people were only putting up 150 posters over three nights, putting up posters, as we can see from the photographs, to, to a poll. Now, you're good at the numbers. That's 75 polls. That's putting posters up on two polls per hour, Pascal. Seriously, who's going to believe that? You know what we should do? Me and you will get, grab a ladder and a stopwatch and see how many posters we put up. It is laughable what you're trying to do and you're trying to take us for fools in relation to these concocted stories. Because you've refused to come clean in 2016. When it was pointed out to you in 2017, you refused to come clean. When the media went after you on this in, in November of last year, you said nothing to see here. And it is only now that SIPO has started to inquire in relation to this here that you're concocting a story. So there is questions that you should be answering, but you voted earlier on that you won't answer direct questions. Serious questions that you should be answering. Who actually, who did Michael Stone offer this service to? Because it's, it's, he's your friend. Like you, you, you're at his wedding there in November. Like he's a close confidant of yours. He's, it's natural for somebody to offer you this donation. Who in 2017 brought it to your attention that the company van was used in 2016? Who made that allegation to you? What action did you take? How did you value the use of the van at that time? How many days was the van used for and how many hours over each day? In 2021, when a number of journalists made specific and detailed inquiries to you regarding the issue that's now in the public domain, you said you carried out a review and that they all was in order. Who carried out the review? How did you satisfy yourself with that? And how does that square with the fact that you knew in 2017 that at the very least there was a van used in this, in this process? And how could you say that everything was in order when this was the case. When did you speak to Michael Stone in relation to this? You told the media when you made a press conference on Sunday that it took you a number of weeks to make sure that all of the detail was accurate, that they were out posting four nights. Unfortunately for you, there's photographs that show they were in the middle of the working day, wearing the hard hats, the high vis, right off the building site with the company van parked there. So what did Michael, when did you contact Michael Stone to find out how much he paid, how this was acquired, 
And were the designer group employees? Were they paid in cash? You're Minister for Finance, are you aware? And the, can I just finish on this here? And I'm asking you, Minister, to answer this question very, very carefully. Did Michael Stone pay people to put up posters for you in the 2020 general election campaign? And I would ask you to answer that question now, Thank because it is very, crucial. Thank you very much. Deb.